everything goes away when I'm on my skateboard. You have to be focused enough to put yourself in that position where you really don't want a whole lot happening upstairs to really put together what's happening down underneath your feet. into like a, a, a space in your head where there's there is nothing you're being you open your heart and that drift right through like the moon. it's pretty quiet you know I can pretty much hear the snow the snow actually has a lot of sounds believe it or not nothing else matters but doing that smith grind or that kick flip or that front side flip or that hard flip or jumping down the stairs. What I'm telling myself is I could do it, I could do it, I could do it, I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make it. You, you think anything else, you're done. Everyone here wants you to land this trick, you know? Like, why don't you just do it? Oh. Oh. That one really got away from me, boy. Sometimes that works. When you look around at everyone's face and they're like, come on, Dustin, like, old man, get it done. <laughs> In my intro to a library ride, I'm walking down a path in Hawaii with a surfboard. People might think that's random for a skateboarder, but a lot of the surfers skated, a lot of skaters snowboard, a lot of the snowboarders surfed and skated, they did everything. It seems like surfers and skaters are hanging and vibing off each other. It's like a rad little connection again between surf and skate. They got strong arm surfers. They're like... One of my favorite trips was actually not surfing or skateboarding, it was hiking up north, building jumps and camping out, cooking food and staying away from the bears. That was like super memorable to me and I've never done anything like that since. My mother just told me to expand my mind to the world and the videos hooked me in when I was younger, you know, it was like, here's a skate video and here's this other thing where people are in mountains and there's volcanoes and reverse sequences of like mist going into the volcano and stand out. There's no set way to watch it. You're gonna walk away just like ready to skate or be visually stoked. Then you get like the people that come up to you and they're just like, that video changed my life, man. We'll go to bed in a world without seasons. I was always fascinated with like finding a new pool or what's there, what's there, what's there, what's there, let's go there. That's humanity, like since a thousand years ago, to be a prospector of new horizons. We'd taken a couple cars up to Seattle. We stopped in Burnside for a session, and that was my first time skating there. One of my friends, we were fucking with him, and he got pissed and broke the window, so we had to drive back from Seattle with no passenger window. I liked going to Malaysia, where it really stank up. And then someone gave me a drink that was like a rotten drink. Uh, and then there was this actor that took us around and he was better than us and I was sick. It's a fucking book. I can't explain it in an interview. It's blurred into a wish-wash hurricane of fantasticness. Bringing out people's personality through having a good time and being creative and knowing that through that the films would be amazing. So if you're not having a good time and not enjoying yourself in your environment, how are you going to get on your board and rip? Shine.